people think being a singer, being on stage is just all fun and glamorous stuff and whatever. There must be times that you really think, can I take a break, please? I wouldn't say it like that, but of course it's times where you get tired because it's a lot of work. I don't think people understand, for all the people uh, in this, understand how much you actually do, but it's so worth it. You know, so we, it. we all do this because of the big dream to be on the stage in Eurovision, so we're so excited to be a part of it, and it's going to be so much fun, and especially opening the whole show. Yeah. You are aren't just singers, you are performers as such. Where do you get these skills from? Were you trained when you were kids or is it just natural? I think, you know, we've been touring since we were 10 years old. So like, I feel like the the stage is kind of like a safe zone for me. I feel like I can do- For us. Yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we can do whatever we want and still feel safe, you know? Mm. So it's just natural right now. And uh, yeah, we just feel very safe and comfortable and confident on the yeah. stage when we're there. And of course, with the, the staging that you have, it is an even different, it's a, sta a safe zone as well within that. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, it, it's very difficult staging as well, because in the start, we only we have these two big walls, which is only yeah. two meters from each other. And we're going to also have four dancers in there and trying to perform, make it look natural. So we've been practicing. Right. Yeah, we've been practicing a lot so on that show. How many times have you uh, each other? Well, Lost count. Not, uh, well, not so much actually, yeah. because we we've been practicing very well together, yeah. and uh, we're super happy with the staging. And as you said, it feels very natural and comfortable on stage, so we're very happy with the show. Yeah. First thing I thought about when I saw your names is how often do you open each other's mail. Are each other? Because you're both M A. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we we haven't done that actually. No, no. Oh. I mean, is it is the other times when it gets a bit confusing? Uh, yeah, I mean. People really don't know who's who uh, every time. Uh, do you like that idea? Ah, do you play on it? Sometimes we do. Not so much Sometimes. actually. We're well-behaved boys and uh, do what we get told to do. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and crossing this border between Norway and Sweden, how do the Norwegians feel about this? I mean, to get people saying is, why aren't you with us? Of course, some of them are a bit, you know, angry about it. But, you know, I think they're proud of us. Even the prime minister in Norway wrote that he was proud and good luck to us in Eurovision. So I think they're very proud and uh, we want to make Sweden proud, but also Norway, of course. Yeah. But well, do you feel the fact you, you're on a trajectory? It's almost like you know, what is left for you to do that you haven't done? I mean, do you have that, that ambition that just keeps driving you? I feel like Eurovision is next level. It's, uh, it's the next step for us. And, you know, it's so, so, so big. So winning Eurovision is everything. Like, it's, it's crazy big. It's, it's something else. Yeah. Your songs have a very short... You can understand why you're starting the show. Because it's that one that just grabs people and shakes them and gets them, wants them to, to dance. So Thank you. you can feel the audience reaction whenever you, you watch the national final. Thank you. For now, I've got to say, Tusentak. Tusentak. Ah, Tusentak. <laughs>